This is a part of the story that is often left out. It is no wonder people don't like to tell this part, for it is terribly sad. This is the part that the Church recognizes as the Feast of the Innocents. The Magi had followed the star to the land where Jesus had been born. When they arrived, they went to see the king, named King Herod, in Jerusalem. When King Herod heard them say that they were looking for a new baby king, he seemed very interested, but it wasn't in a good way. King Herod felt his power would be threatened. He wanted to be the only king in the land. Come and tell me when you find this king, he told the Magi. I want to come and worship him. But the Magi had been warned in a dream about Herod's true intentions and that he would stop at nothing to keep his power. So the Magi went home by another road, but Herod did not forget. King Herod had scholars in his palace review the scriptures and find where this new king was born. They told him that the place was Bethlehem. Herod truly would stop at nothing, and he sent his soldiers there to find and kill every small boy, two years old or younger. This was a terrible tragedy. The parents were heartbroken. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Then Herod, when he saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, became furious, and he sent his soldiers and had killed all of the male children in Bethlehem and all in that region who were two years old or younger, according to the time that he had ascertained from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what was spoken by the prophet Jeremiah, a voice was heard in Rama, weeping and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children. She refused to be comforted because they are no more. The Gospel of the Lord. During this season focused on the blessing and miracle of a child, let us pause to remember and pray for the children of this part of the story and of all children in all the years since who have been victims of violence. Mm -hmm.